NAB 2012, I'm Dave Basulto. We're at the NVIDIA booth here uh, with Sean Kilbright. How are you doing, Sean? Good. How are you uh, good, thanks. So uh, we have CS6, Adobe's new release of Premiere Pro. You're running some NVIDIA stuff on it. Tell us what's going on. Certainly. We've got uh, the new HP Z1 unit here, which is using the NVIDIA uh, Quadro 400, uh, 4000M. Uh, and we're going to show you how that uh, does in uh, Premiere Pro CS6. Uh, so what we did here is this a project that we came up with using multicam footage. And let's just take a look and see how that plays back. We've got 11 streams running here. Uh -huh. And we've used a wide variety of formats. We've got some GoPros in there, some 5Ds, some Sony EX3s. Uh, and as you can see, I mean, we're getting real-time playback on all of those streams uh, using the, uh, the power of the NVIDIA GPU. Which, by the way, uh, this is new to CS6. There used to be four streams, right. and now it's uh, kind of unlimited up to whatever you want. And so, it's, yeah, it's really exciting, especially because anybody that wants to work with multicam really wants to use as many cameras as you right. possibly can. Uh, and so You might have some B-roll or something that exactly. you just want to throw. Yeah, I mean, this was, and for this music video shot, I mean, this was perfect for us uh, editing that. So the other thing we've done is we've taken our finished, you know, we went ahead and we cut on this, and now we've taken our video and we wanted to create kind of a stylistic look for it. So let's take a look at the original video here. So as we can see, we've got good quality video, but it's a little too clean for our, you know, we want, our band wants to be a little grungy, you know? So let's go ahead and uh, let's boost some of the, uh, the highlights on the windows there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to simulate some film grain using noise and some fast blurs. And then we can uh, create either like a ble bleach bypass effect here, or we can really desaturate that and give it. So now we've got a video for our band that has a real distinct look and we can play this all back in real time with all those effects using the GPU. And if you take a look at all of the, I mean, all of the effects that ship with Adobe that have this uh, icon on them are all GPU accelerated effects. Uh, and so, you know, the ability to create unique styles and, and nice effects uh, are really accelerated by the NVIDIA GPU. I can show you what this looked like if we didn't have a GPU in the system. So let's just go ahead and let's turn off GPU acceleration. And that's going to now we're going to be running with just using the uh, the software and the system CPU. And as you can see, when we play back, and we have a big red bar. We got a big on. red bar. We got no playback going on, uh, and it's just simply not able to keep up with the the complexity of our clip here. And so, I mean, the, you know, the real thing is that if you you know if you're not using a GPU, you're going to have to simplify your projects. Right. If you're simplifying your project, you're really simplifying your creativity. Or render them out constantly. Exactly. And so, I mean, don't let, you know, don't let your hardware dictate your creativity, you know. Well, there you go. Uh, Premiere Pro CS6 is fantastic. Uh, NVIDIA makes it even more fantastic. And so, check it out. Uh, go to NVIDIA.com. And we're here at 2012 NAB. I'm Dave Basulto with Sean, and we're out of here.